Hi, thanks for watching Q&A with Janae, your resource for inspiration to make life happy, nourished, and delicious. So today I actually have a guest on, one of my friends. Her name is Kendra and she is a personal trainer and she has this amazing company called Barefoot Tiger. And with Barefoot Tiger, basically she offers in-home personal training, yoga, and Pilates. And so the reason I have her on today is because I had a question sent to me from Misty and Misty is pregnant and she wanted to know, Janae, what are some healthy plant-based tips that I can apply to my pregnancy? Um, and so I've never been pregnant, but Kendra has. Yes. She had a little baby boy named Liam uh, a little bit over four months ago and her pregnancy went very well and she's obviously a just a beacon of health. So I figured let's have Kendra on to, to school us on healthy plant-based pregnancy. So welcome, Kendra. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> I'm so excited because we have a few things that I really want to talk about. I know you're just a wealth of information. So to start, what was the biggest thing that you wish you had known before or what was the biggest discovery or biggest thing that you can share mm -hmm. with a pregnant woman now? Yeah. You know, actually, one of the most surprising things uh, when I was pregnant was mm. finding out how much protein a pregnant woman needs. Mm. It's a lot. Yeah. It's about 70 grams a day, uh, which is quite a bit of protein. It is. And being plant-based, mm -hmm. um, I had to find ways to get 70 grams of protein. Uh -huh. And uh, like you know, because you just did a blog post on it last That's week, right. video. Check yep. that out. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's actually very easy to find protein mm -hmm. in plant-based foods, mm -hmm. um, and so I ate a lot of things like lentils and legumes mm -hmm. and greens. Uh, just mixed them into my diet and tried to eat as as many of those mm. foods as possible. Wonderful. Um, so that was really surprising yeah. to me. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of I'm thinking about man, how much protein do I really eat? And it's no, it's definitely not 70 grams. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a ton. It is a lot. And even you know nuts and seeds and those add protein as mm -hmm, well. So, for sure. And I like those. Yeah. I eat a ton of those. And mm -hmm. with the benefit of having extra protein in your diet, you also you're eating a really healthy diet mm -hmm. and all of the food that you eat is going to create this little baby inside of you. So if there's ever a time to eat really healthy yeah. foods, now is the time. Oh pregnant. yes, for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Added benefit of eating protein mm -hmm. during your pregnancy mm -hmm. is that it has been shown to reduce the risk of preeclampsia. Okay. And so a high high protein diet mm -hmm. um, can help you reduce that risk. Okay. Which yep. is a good what thing is to that? reduce. Uh, preeclampsia yeah. is uh, tends to come in towards the end of pregnancy, and it's high blood pressure. Oh, okay. Um, and it can be a pretty severe and, and serious. Uh, matter if okay. it happens. So you so, prevent that. Yeah. Eating lots of protein can, okay. can help. Lower, lower, lower the, the risk. risk. Oh, yes. good. Okay, <laughs> good. So ladies, keep that in mind. And also, like you said, it's easy to do on a plant-based diet. Make sure you get all those things, the lentils, the legumes, the nuts and seeds, the greens. Mm -hmm. You told me that Liam had some food sensitivities. Mm -hmm. um, can you elaborate on that? I know that's a common thing for, for kids and women these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I found out he had food sensitivities um, basically, obviously, after he was born. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he, uh, it showed up in him being a little more fussy, uh -huh. um, having a lot of gas, being really mm. uncomfortable. And the biggest hint was in his poop. Okay. So if you have a small baby mm -hmm. and they're very fussy, mm -hmm. they uh, tend to get really fussy around when they eat, mm -hmm. and they have um, poops that are not your usual color and mm -hmm. you can look that up online I'll okay. see, spare you the details okay um, I would talk to a pediatric gastroenterologist mm -hmm. or your pediatrician and we figured out working with our pediatrician um, that I needed to eliminate a few foods from my, my diet right and what were those the common allergens the most common is milk mm -hmm. cow's milk and soy okay uh, also eggs mm -hmm. uh, nuts and nuts mm -hmm. and wheat 
Wow. So for me, I did a pretty strict elimination diet, yeah. and I took it all out. So <laughs> a lot. I wasn't eating dairy already, and I mm -hmm. wasn't eating eggs. Oh, that's right, yeah. So I took those out, um, or they were already out, yeah. and so I took out soy, nuts, and wheat, wheat uh -huh. and slowly reintroduced them back in to mm -hmm. see you know, what effect it would have on my baby. Right. And it was so amazing. Once I took these foods out, mm -hmm. it was like I had a different baby. Really? And it took a week. Really? Yeah. So fast. Yeah. It took about a week to get out of his system, mm -hmm. maybe two weeks. Um, but once it goes out of his system, and it takes a while to get out of your system too if you're breastfeeding, mm -hmm. um, but then reintroducing them, then we could pinpoint exactly what it was. Wow. And it just makes for a much happier baby. Yeah. So I think it's a great idea for pregnant women to cut out dairy mm -hmm. and soy, the two main allergens, yeah. while they're still pregnant. Mm. And then afterwards, if you find out that your baby is fussy mm -hmm. or you know just has fussy periods, Maybe try eliminating other foods and see I if that see. helps. And, yeah. you know, we it's hard to deal with a baby who's really fussy. Yeah. So if you can try cutting those things out and see what effect it has, right. it can make a huge difference. Yeah, that is, that is super, I mean, that's awesome. That's really good to know. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of women have fussy babies and just and babies with gassy babies and babies with maybe a regular poop too but are think not thinking that it could be the food mm -hmm. so that's a really good piece of advice yeah. thank you we know kendra is a personal trainer and a yoga teacher so i imagine that you were pretty active during your pregnancy actually i know that you were <laughs> and so how was that did that really affect the pregnancy and was that an important part for you it did yeah it really had a positive effect on my pregnancy mm. and it was a huge part of my pregnancy because mm -hmm. of the work that I do but yeah, also yeah. I really wanted to stay active and stay healthy mm -hmm. and make sure that I was setting myself up for a, a faster recovery yeah too. yeah um, so doing a lot of prenatal yoga uh -huh. actually I did yoga every once in a while mm -hmm. I walked a lot okay um, uh -huh. stayed really active up until the day I went into labor Wow so and I highly highly recommend yeah staying as active as you can following the same regimen that you did before mm -hmm. you got pregnant and continuing it into your pregnancy okay. maybe with a reduced effort mm -hmm. <laughs> because after a while you know it's you're carrying harder. around a lot of extra weight right so even just walking you know <laughs> carrying around 25 wow, to 35 yeah. extra pounds yeah sure. so you know that in and of itself is exercise mm -hmm. um, and then you know it really helps with the recovery afterwards because mm -hmm. you're not only strong you're building your muscles and remaining strong mm -hmm. for the labor yeah you're also making sure that you can recover well and making your recovery easier of course bounce back Definitely. afterwards oh and tell us about so Kendra has this amazing funny story about <laughs> after you gave birth yeah. so yeah. <laughs> a good lesson to yeah. why you should be active right after I gave birth uh -huh. so I was in the delivery room I had just given birth natural natural unmedicated childbirth yes. wow <laughs> <laughs> my doctor said not three minutes after yeah. he said do you do yoga <laughs> and I said yes I do he said those yoga women are strong. Oh, like, okay. Yes, yes we are. Yes. <laughs> yes. So he pinpointed that I do yoga right from right, you know, right from the get go. That's amazing. It was really, really helpful. So it shows you how important that is. Wow. So that was just so helpful. Um, just to wrap up, though, just to repeat what we covered: um, protein being extremely important for mm -hmm. pregnant ladies, and how easy that can be on a plant-based diet with the lentils, other legumes, the greens, the nuts and seeds. Nice, awesome. Um, also, the allergies and the food sensitivities, that is just so good to know. I didn't realize how, you know, how that could really affect the baby, so mm -hmm. thank you. Oh, oh, and of course, staying active. Ladies, remember that, keep that in mind. Staying active is so important, even when you're pregnant, um, and of course, before as well, so cool. Yeah. And so, Kendra, where can we find you online if, if people want to look you up? Yeah, so we're at barefoottiger.com mm -hmm. and we're also on Facebook and Twitter. Okay. Facebook is Barefoot Tiger Live Well mm -hmm. and Twitter is at Barefoot Tiger underscore Tiger. Awesome, cool. And if you have any questions, yes. if any of your viewers have questions mm -hmm. for us, either um, you know activity or pregnancy yeah. questions, you can email info at barefoottiger.com cool. or leave comments down there in the yeah. comment section. Yeah, yeah. She's going to be, um, if you guys have any particular specific questions that you want to share publicly in the comment section, Kendra can answer them for you there. Awesome.
Mexico, which is awesome. And hmm, is there anything else I don't know that you wanted to share? You know, actually, mm-hmm. one of the best gifts. If you're wondering a gift, if you're trying to find a gift for a pregnant lady in your life or a new mama in your life, mm-hmm. The best gift that I could have possibly ever received was food delivery from this lady right here. <gasps> oh, it was really? Amazing. So I'm Janae, happy. thank you. <laughs> the Sweet Potato Soul Kitchen <laughs> delivered a week worth of food for this new mama. And <laughs> let me tell you, new mamas love that. Yeah. It was so easy to eat really healthy foods Good. and knowing knowing that it was made with love from mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. And I was nourishing myself and my baby, and all I had to do was just pop it in the oven, Wonderful. reheat it, and it was so delicious. Thank oh you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you. And thank you for coming today and sharing all of your wisdom and knowledge with us. Thank you for that having me. That was fabulous. Great. Remember to leave your questions and comments for Kendra and me in the comment section below. And if you have a question for a future episode of Q&A with Janae, leave that there too. Do you have a pregnant woman in your life? Share this video with her right now. For more healthy eating tips and free recipes, visit my website, www.sweetpotatosoul.com and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest at Sweet Potato Soul. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. What about on social media? Because I know you're on Facebook and yeah. Twitter. Facebook, Barefoot Tiger Live Well, mm. and on Twitter. Barefoot, awesome. barefoot underscore Twitter. Okay. No. Tiger? <laughs> Tiger. Damn it. Oh, I guess. <laughs> That's another good outtake. I'll ask, let me ask you about the, the social media again, too. And so I know you have social media, Facebook and Twitter, so can we find you on there? Yes, yeah. definitely. Facebook is Barefoot Tiger Live Well. Okay. And on Twitter, it's Barefoot underscore Twitter. Uh, <laughs> The ladies gotta keep their lips nice and moisturized. Right. My mom. (laughs) I gotta get my eyebrows in later today, too. Oh my god. This would be a good outtake. (laughs) (laughs) Are you filming that? Oh, great. (laughs) Okay.